hello hello everybody so today is a new one and on this day i want to talk about dating i know it's been a long time since i've talked about relationships and dating and the reason is this there's a narrative that keeps going around that dating is difficult and personally don't believe that dating is difficult i just think that it's difficult to find someone that you mesh with you know someone that you connect with it forces you to get out of your comfort zone so that's why we are talking about dating because you know how to navigate things that i've learned in navigating the dating world especially as a christian but on this topic i'm not going to specify it specifically on the christianity perspective of it so number one we are going to talk about is why dating is important dating gives you a spice of people you know the more you date the more you first of all before we go to this first topic i want to define dating because i feel like a lot of people are confused about what dating is dating is not courtship dating is not a relationship dating is going out with someone you're both mutually interested in and trying to learn or understand or get to know each other well and if dating works out then people move on to courtship sometimes dating works out in the way that people don't necessarily go into a relationship as per se like in an intimate way sometimes people date and they end up as friends so let's get that clear dating is not a relationship and dating is not a commitment to someone it's getting to know each other so back to the first topic about why dating is important is dating gives you a selection of people like uh you see when you're dating you're not necessarily always interested in people who are around your social circles cycle circles circles and so the more you date people the more you get to understand the vastness of human capacity like the vastness of human mentality because the more you communicate with different people the more you understand how people think the more you understand even who you are in a, depending on the people you're relating with right so next one number two is uh i think i've spoken about this is dating is not courtship don't assume because you're going out with someone that that is a relationship or that is a commitment unless someone says that they want the connection that you've been building up in your dating life that they want something more with you then that's something but they have to articulate it is i don't know if that's the right word but they have to say it outright that they want something more from it right don't just assume that you're in a relationship because you're going out with the opposite sex right like sometimes people just hang out because they like your energy and not because they want it to be something more and i feel like a lot of people uh they get hurt because they misunderstand what something is they as you know the assumption is that it's something that it's not i hope that's clear the third one is that um sorry i have not so excuse me if i keep looking down is don't be overly spiritual that you forget that dating is a human thing inspired by the spiritual thing what i mean by this is this especially for christians <sighs> my god when you're dating like you have to connect with someone beyond you know okay where do i start with this is one of the difficult points for me to explain but i'm sure some of you already understand what i'm trying to say when you're dating as a christian don't go first hand in this manner of it is a um, how do i say this without sounding like i'm trying i'm trying not to get god out of the picture of dating because for me personally i believe that dating with god in the picture is 
and by God in the picture I mean God is the foundation of your dating life is very very important because God is the one who leads you to the person that you're eventually going to settle down with but here's what I mean as Christians I feel like sometimes we throw the thing about God so much that it becomes like taking advantage like a manipulation of someone yeah that's the word it's like manipulating people from a standpoint of using faith to put people in a box where they feel inclined to be in a relationship with you i hope that's understandable so dating especially as a christian i want you to understand that it's a human to human connection there is a reason why in heaven there are no marriages and there is a reason why in heaven there is no dating. As far as I've read my Bible, I understand that human connection, intimacy is here in the world. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know. But that's as far as I understand that dating, relationships, intimacy, you know, fleshly connections are not for heaven. Even if the only thing I believe that goes beyond this world when it comes to intimacy is the children you know the created beings that have been made in a covenant setup and by covenant i mean the union of two beings you know the spiritual union of two beings physically that manifests both spiritually and physically i hope that doesn't sound complicated but that's the next one is go on dates with people who have core value similar to you as even when they don't fit the usual type of people you'd assume are similar to you don't always date a particular type of people you know like you're always dating the same person but in different bodies you know like today you're going with alex tomorrow you're going with anthony but anthony is the same as alex it's just a different name a different face go out with people who have different mindsets different status in life different i don't want to say faith but who have a core value with you but are different in the way they think you know people you sit with and you communicate with and they challenge you they challenge the way you do things or they challenge you to become a better version of you you know don't date people on the same level as you because if it works out and it ends up being a relationship you don't want to be with someone who makes it comfortable and i use the word comfortable loosely you don't want to be with someone who makes it easy for you to be just stagnant in one place stagnant in your mindset stagnant in the way you think about money stagnant in your social life you want someone who's completely an upgrade of yourself you know someone who is smarter than you someone who has better skills than you even when the core value is the same an example if you're a believer that's like believing in god is the core value that's like the thing the foundation that cannot be changed everything else is like a tree you know okay let's think about it like this god is like the seed when you plant something the seed is the core value of your being like everything grows from it so god is the core value everything else that stems from it is like a fruit of what that seed provides i hope you understand so date people who are different from you people who make it uncomfortable for you to be stagnant or to be stuck in similar in a similar place you know people who always challenge you to run if you are used to walking they challenge you to run and i don't mean it in the sense of bringing an insecurity to you i mean in the way that it makes you rise to your higher self that's what i mean the next one is build friendships relationships stem from deep friendly connections don't go into dating with a focus that you're going there to find a mate or to find a partner i feel like it's easier to find a great partner when your focus is on friendship because not everyone you date is going to be a relationship an intimate relationship and also not everyone you date is going to be like a, a bad situation you get what i'm saying like 
you can go out with someone and you click so much the chemistry is like top notch but it's not beyond friendship and you can build families you know you know how you can have friends who end up being like family that's what i mean so go on dating with the focus that you are building a friendship even when you're both mutually interested in each other yeah next one is if it doesn't feel right it is not right if if it does not feel right it is not right don't force issues sometimes you don't click with the person you thought you liked at the level you assumed you would other times the click says friendship and not relationship if being around someone gives you an iffy vibe like the energy is just off you cannot put your finger to it but something just feels off don't force it it's not a contract that everything has to work out with everyone you're going out with and don't feel guilty that it does not work out you know you are there to understand each other you're there to learn each other you're there to make connections to socialize okay the next one is be honest don't act to be approved if you really want real connections you require to be as real as possible it doesn't mean be your usual rude self be you and try not to be scary especially if that's how you sabotage good things by being honest this is what i mean a lot of people go into dating trying to be a narrative you know a better and i don't mean be a better person i just mean they try to be this version of themselves that is not flawed that is not human it's like your superman you know and i'm sorry to superman <laughs> fans but you no one is superman no one is without flaws everyone has flaws and i feel like the best way to make connections is be real in any situation if you're going out to make friendships honesty is important and by honesty i mean be real be real in what you like be real in how you act be real even to some extent in in um, you know your strong points don't sweep it under the floor because if you're trying to make a connection that is supposed to lead into a relationship you don't want to be with someone who does not understand your standards who does not understand your lane who does not understand why it's important maybe to be ambitious um, ooh, oui. who does not understand why it's important for um be for him or she to be ambitious you get go into it being straightforward don't go there like um this fancy person who is perfect who does not make mistakes be there as a real person you know the way you can sit down and have conversations with people you are familiar with people you are comfortable with like go into it like that you know have real conversations don't try to act like something you're not don't try to to fit into a box so that you can be approved the best way to even know a real connection is when your your yourself and people still like you after it because you are yourself i hope you understand there is no need of being liked for something you're not like what's the point someone is eventually going to find out who you are because like the word of god says everything hidden in the darkness will be brought out into the light so whatever you're lying whatever you're trying to hide will eventually come out and if you have been trying to hide it at some point it will come out and maybe the version of you that you have been displaying we is not the does not relate to the version of you that is your true self and your partner will reject it because they are not used to that version of you the false version of you i hope that's understandable the next one is don't date out of pressure unfortunately we live in a society where it's been so glorified that relationships are like the most important thing and even when you look at the more mature people there is a certain way people treat people who are who have chosen to be single or who are single either by circumstance or by choice and this is my opinion on it if you want the best out of life you cannot do things because society requires you to do it you have to do something because you truly believe in your heart of hearts that that is something god wants for you because 
the world wants a lot of things the world wants you to be protected and the world wants you to be promiscuous at the same time you get what i mean yes and then it's like where's the message like what do you want me to be do you want me to be uh, celibate or do you want me to be promiscuous you get so it's like that society will always try to put you in a place where you have to choose the in between instead of the extreme ends of uh, choices and you always want to be certain about the choices you make you always want to be the person who goes into a relationship because you are ready because you feel and you believe that that is what God wants for you because not all of us we are not all of us created or born to be intimate. And by intimate, I mean intimacy like uh, opposite sex intimacy. You get what I mean? Like beyond friendship, beyond... Uh, I think you understand what I'm trying to say. You're all mature people here. So, yeah so don't do anything out of pressure do something do everything in your life because you believe that is something god wants for you and that is something you yourself know in your heart of hearts you are ready for the next one is know what you want out of it or at least an idea of what you want out of it so when you're going uh for dates you have to have a vision of what you want because if you do not have a vision in life in any situation, you're going to go by the wind. If the wind goes east, you're going to be blown east. If the wind goes west, you're going to be blown west. So when you're dating, before you go into the dating scene, you have to understand yourself enough to know what it is that you expect from those situations do you expect friendships and what kind of friendships do you expect do you expect relationships and what kind of relationships do you expect from it so that when it does not go according or almost in alignment to that because sometimes it can be a little off but it is still right like you can understand if this is a yes or if this is a no without wasting your time and without wasting people's money and food you get what i'm saying because the best part about dating is really the food right <laughs> maybe i'm biased but that's i love food i'm a foodie so if you do not love food i'm sorry you don't you can't relate the next one is uh remember relationships are about serving others even when it complements your companionship needs so when you're going to dating there are two things what are your companionship needs and are you someone who can serve people because relationships are hard work let me tell you relationships people and maybe i will do a series on singlehood but i feel like people disregard being single the gift of being single being single is very freeing you know you don't have to answer to anyone you don't you don't have to share your alone time with people you don't have to explain where you're going you don't have to explain why you did not answer a call or a text within an hour you get what i'm saying but dating is also beautiful if you find the right people and by the right people i mean friends and relationships so remember that when you're going into this you have to look at it like is it serving both of you so be in a situation where the person you yourself are ready to serve and the person you're trying to connect with is someone who you know relationships are about serving each other and if you are in a union if you're trying to find a union where someone is dominating over someone else in the manner of that one serves the other and the other does not serve the other person because of whatever circumstance whether it's money whether it's status whatever it is that's not a union that's not a connection that's a contract you know you are doing it to get something instead of serving each other that's the point i'm putting across the next one is don't compromise your core values for someone the right one will connect with you when you're true to your core values what this means is that back to what i was saying about be honest be yourself never compromise your core value so that you can fit into a relationship if faith is important to you don't connect yourself or don't allow yourself to be entangled 
and I use entangled in loosely because I'm not I'm not here to encourage entanglements. I hope that all of you find healthy situations, you know, where you connect with people genuinely. Don't compromise your core values. Core values are things like faith, things like kindness. Don't date someone who is cruel or someone who does not believe in God if that's not your thing, if that's not something you truly believe in. Don't date someone who is not a visionary if you yourself are a visionary type of person don't date someone who is not an action driven person if you you are a driven action person because you're going to clash you're going to get frustrated by the trying to mold someone into being something that you are because as human beings as much as we say we don't it's not right to change people it is when we connect deeply with people, it is a natural urge for us to want our partners to grow. So don't be entangled in a situation where you have to be someone's conscience or someone's drive to be something more. You get, yeah. The next one is like, share, subscribe.